Hey guys, it's Heather. It's been a long time. Sorry, lots going on. So just got my mom out of the hospital after 24 days and I am in the midst of organizing and reorganizing her um, medications. Um, interesting thing in Portugal is that you don't get traditional prescription pill bottles. You get um, things like this. And one thing I noticed is that it actually is Braille, which is super smart and kind of makes me wonder why, well, I mean, we don't buy things in boxes, so that's first of all. But anyways, um, it's interesting to understand a little bit about how this works or what it's going to look like if you are moving to Portugal. First of all, you get a whole box. So that is how it is prescribed to you. And you, this is actually a prescription, which is, whoops, full page. So if you can see here, there's the drug, there's the directions, one pill at breakfast, so on. They were nice to write this in English too. And then as you use the boxes, they mark them down. So this one that isn't marked, I haven't filled yet. These I have filled. Um, and then these are the prices that the government has reduced because this is uh, through the health center, the Saud. So like this box, this bottom one's 428 for the box. This one's 176 for 60 pills. This one's 136 for 56 pills. This one's 245 for 60 pills etc. Now there are some things that cost more um, or things that aren't scripts like lactulose. Not a script is necessary for older folks often. It's 8 euros 40 and um, you get 20 of these in here. Yeah, 20 saquetas and um, saquetas, I don't know. Anyways, um, this is not terribly cheap when they're taking it twice a day and there's two of them. So we are going through this box in about five days, something like that. But that's the new normal. Um, yeah, I think that's all I wanted to share really. And so I have a weird system going. So I was taking my old prescription bottles and doing something like this like writing on it, what this is, blah, blah, blah. But um, I don't know. At the moment, I have a lot of stuff going on. So, and I had a ton of these little weird snack size zip, zip baggies, um, Ziplocs I brought. So I'm just starting to do this, which is take from the box and um, cut two of these. And I'm going to write once a day or whatever it says, yeah, one pill before breakfast. So I'm going to write 1 a.m. on both of these. One of these is going to go in like an emergency thing I take with me if we have a medical emergency and I have to say, here's the meds my mom's on. The other is going to stay with the pill inside the Ziploc bag with my extra pills. So when I refill her medicine stuff, I'm going to do it from here. Okay, I was doing the same thing with bottles, but I don't know, feeling like this is the same difference. Um, and then I store it all in a tub. And the other thing this is good for, and reason this is important, is because your pharmacist wants to get give you the same prescription. Make so like this is like a generic or something maybe. And I don't want to get different looking pills every time because it's like extra confusing. So if I take this to my pharmacist. She'll actually make note of which ones, um, which brands I'm, I've gotten, and this is what she'll refill it with. So that's the scoop with that. Kind of interesting. There's definitely a lot to learn on this um, prescription situation here. And uh, if you want to talk about it, you can certainly consult, and we can do that. It did take me a lesson or two to figure it out. And the other thing I figured out is that you want to pick one pharmacy and actually one pharmacist um, even. So we are a pharmacy. We have uh, close by 
um, 10 minutes away, and the gal's name's Beatrice. Now I have kind of a fill-in gal because she's on maternity leave. But the nice thing with that is she knows us. So if one of these does run out and I haven't gotten the, the Saud to, um, doctor to renew it, she'll give it to me because she knows me. And she knows this was a prescribed drug. And the other thing's nice, since this is for my parent, um, it's just nice because, like, she's not going to leave you in the lurch sort of thing. Okay, thanks. Bye.